Attempting to do 12 habits slash experiments for 12 months. The natural question comes, why am I doing it? So let me take you to the night of December 31st, 2020. Like the rest of the world, even I was at home. With my family and friends not around here in Los Angeles, I decided why not to take this night a bit slow, reflect on how 2020 was and what I want 2021 to look like. And as I was reflecting, I got reminded that recently in the mail, I had received the big ass calendar by Jesse Itzler. And Jesse Itzler is a serial entrepreneur, author, and a rapper. He has shaped his life around a core concept he calls build your life resume. Whether it's staying with the monks, training with the Navy SEAL, running a hundred mile under 24 hours, or learning how to play a harmonica at the age of 52. Living a fulfilled life is what he aims for. The philosophy behind the calendar is that it is easy to get caught in the daily grind and lose sight of what's truly important. The time just rushes past us and at the end of the year, we wonder, whoa, it's end already? I want you to take that trip, spend time with family, go on that date night, watch that movie, read that book. And if we don't stop to reflect on them, the cycle continues. In his words, we are all running out of time. So on the calendar, you put the things that you love to do with the people you love to do it with. You don't put the work activities, instead you put life activities and adventures that truly makes you feel fulfilled. With the calendar came his build your life resume videos. Still one and a half hour to go for the new year, I decided to watch the videos. In the video, Jesse spoke about three things to do on the calendar. First one being the misogi. The idea behind this is that you take up a challenge that radically expands the sense of what's possible for you. The odds are stacked against you and there is more than 50% chance of failure. You know, something that you really wanted to do, but there is a lot of fear around it. But if you just do it, you will come out as a whole new person with a whole set of new revelations, new reflections, new experiences. And you would see yourself in a whole different light. That's what Misogi is for. My Misogi for 2021, I have decided to be 29 or 29 Everesting. More on that in some other video, but I'll put the link to what exactly 29 or 29 Everesting is in the description. Next up is Kevin's Road. Once every eight weeks, you do something you would not have done on a weekend which pretty much guarantees 150 new memories over the next 30 years. And the last one, the one that inspired this series to take place. 12 new habits slash experiments for 12 months. Introducing one winning habit every month. When I saw this, it quickly reminded me of Matt Diavella. Yes, the minimalist guy, who is famous for his huge biceps and also the 30-day experiments that he ran in 2019 a huge fan of that series, I decided I have to take this challenge. Now, here's the thing that you should know about me. About four years back, I wouldn't have even looked twice around the things involving personal development. No, it is it is not for me. I was, I was not at all conscious what exactly is personal development, let alone actually going deep and trying out different habits. But the past four years have been nothing short of magic for me. I've spoken about my origin story in the first podcast that I did. The link is right over here, so please check it. <laughs> but in short, if I have to summarize, I would say I'm building a life where I'm taking the journey within. Whether it comes to learning different perspectives from thought leaders like Dana Lamont, Tom Bilyeu, Eric Edmead, Sadhguru and many more. Or seeking new experiences in life like becoming a certified scuba diver, jumping from a bridge with a bunch of strangers, joining a Bollywood dance group with no prior training or experience, just going for the audition, daring to ask a girl out, finally at the age of 24. Or just launching the podcast. A life full of experiences and experiments is what I am going towards, moving towards. And as I got started in the personal development space, I think it's fairly common for a lot of people to come across this term called habit building and how, how habits 
shape our lives and shape how we show up in our lives so to be a bit more organized and keep it more structured i started to delve or go deep into the science of habits and and started to research more about it there is a lot of books and research written on habits delineating why they are important to our growth and happiness wanting to grow and improve in every area of my life i found myself trying everything you know how how when you get into the college or you start something new you want to do everything you're so excited you're so motivated so that's what i did i tried everything cold shower suggested by wim hof you got it morning peaches suggested by tim ferris <laughs> easy peasy drinking green juice suggested by the wild fit author eric edmeads hmm whatever getting up at 5 am every day suggested by robin sharma <sighs> no <laughs> no <Nah. laughs> trying out so many habits and not tracking or consciously building systems around it made me quit so many of them along the way this experiment of 12 months 12 habits gives me a chance to work and focus on one single habit a month consciously build systems around it with full focus i'm hoping this experiment will help me be more consistent with the habit consciously practice them and make it sustainable in the long term i also aim to do in depth research about them and present them along with my reflections revelations and experiences but do keep it in mind that do not take my word to the t and actually go ahead and do it for yourself research it for yourself because trust me guys at the end of the day you want something that is hyper tuned for your situation your condition your story your background because a lot of people in in the self help space or self personal development space or in any place a lot of them give out advices based on their specific experiences there is a huge bias in that sometimes they are appealing to the masses get inspired by them take brilliant ideas from everywhere but you have the responsibility to actually tune it for yourself trust me i have done that mistake to just take ideas from amazing people out there and just follow it to the t not designing it or crafting it for my own personal need or my situation and ultimately feeling because i blindly copy the ideas and ultimately blaming the idea where the idea wasn't bad it was me who actually didn't use my brain and understood and thought about that how can that person's advice where he or she is appealing to the masses directly or specifically apply to my situation we always have to tweak it for our own needs so tune it be mindful and do your own research tune it for yourself and then see the magic unveil So let's go back to the night of December 31st 2020. Still 10 minutes remaining for the clock to hit 12. I finished the video, quickly jotted down 12 different ideas for habits/experiments that I really want to do. And as the pen hit the last word, I took a deep calming breath. Saw that it was 12 a.m. I silently wished myself a happy new year. My cell phone dinged. and it was a message from my long time crush <laughs> so the next one hour just went on chatting with her what a start to 2021 eh <laughs> thank you for making to the end of this video i would love to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video amit pandey amit has a podcast wish i knew that before <laughs> if you haven't checked it out kya kar rahe ho go check it out <laughs> the podcast is about um helping young adults bringing in experts and um a lot of just 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 young people on the show and talking about the things that wish i knew that before a lot of times we say right kaash kaash ye pata hota wish i knew that before that's what the show is about so please go ahead and check it out yeah <laughs> yeah and if you have made it to the end of this video do drop it in the comments which habits slash experiments do you think i'm planning to do and if your guess is right you will get a smile from me 
Okay. <laughs> Do drop it in the comments. Um, if you have any suggestions for me that hey, probably try this out. I'm pretty flexible to try it out. Pretty flexible to change it on the fly. If if you have some amazing suggestions, um, probably I might invite you to do it with me. and we can do it together share our experiences on the upcoming videos i might just interview you so drop it and with that thank you so much for watching to the end of this video this is amit pandey see you next time